This is how I use ChatGPT all the time. Incredibly helpful. Probably one of the best uses of ChatGPT in my opinion. You should be using ChatGPT for this reason right here. It's amazing in any kind of data analyst role. If you're doing anything like that, parsing large amounts of data, you have to clean it, scrub it, remove crap in there. That is one big pile of shit. It is amazing at that. I'm Jordan Hansen from Cobalt Intelligence. We help alternative funders with their underwriting process. And in the process of that, we help with automation, AI, all this stuff. So we're gonna do a little tutorial about how to use ChatGPT more in your daily business. And this is just a way to scrub data. It's amazing. It's so much better and it's just such a pain of what stuff we had to do before. Let's go right into it. This right here is a spreadsheet of sample business data. Now, the idea here is that you get some CSV, some spreadsheet, and it's kind of gross. You don't know what's in there. Who knows what you're trying to do? Now, I got something like this recently. It looked exactly like this, and I didn't need a row for every single one of these. Now, this is different, right? So this is like a lead list or something like that, and we have three rows for one business. Now, I have to say, first, these businesses are all generated by ChatGPT, this whole sample list. They did everything. So generating something like this before, it would have been a pain, but now it's not so bad. Watch. This is what I said. I said, hey, can you generate a sample CSV file? 1200 rows, their address, contact name, and title. Please generate random names for the business. And I gave an example. Come on, man. That's too easy. And then it did it. That was it. So simple. And it made this beautiful spreadsheet. I was like, oh, maybe it's, a, you know, repeating some of these names. Nope, it's not. So different name for every single one. Tons of rows. Look at that. It's just It's just so good. Really impressive. All these different businesses in here. Different roles for every single one. This, let's say we get a thing like this and we're like, oh, crap. I don't need all that. I don't need all the duplicates. To do this manually, to go through and remove these duplicates just with Excel would be a pain. To write a script to do it would not be difficult, but certainly would be kind of annoying. So what we're going to do here is we're going to download this file. And what I'm going to do is say, hey, I'm uploading a CSV of businesses. Can you please remove all duplicates based on business name? Create a CSV I can download and give me a 25 row sample. I always say please, you know, because when the robots take over and upload, there it is. So now it'll take this. And the thing is, whenever you see this little analyzing, now chat GPT, you probably heard, maybe you've heard that sometimes it hallucinates means it's kind of making stuff up. It's not doing things exactly right. Anytime you see this analyzing, it means it's running code. And that means it's almost always not making stuff up. It's actually doing the code properly. And the code's not gonna lie, it's actually running Python in here. And that's kind of an interesting thing to watch. So it's running through there. It's gonna go ahead and create it. And then it's making sample data right now. So you could copy this code and use it yourself. If you had Python, I think you could probably do it. Oh, look, I had a little error. So it's gonna go ahead and fix it. Oh, right, because look, it seems like I said business name. I don't know if that's the title of the business. Let's go see, actually. So if I go over here, it's actual business name with a capital B and capital N. So that's gonna fix it. Oh, yep, see, the credit column to you is business name. It already fixed itself. It's so amazing when it can do things like that. Love it. And here's a 25 row sample. Bam, it's just gonna output it right there. Oh, so good. We can stop there. That's good. We can see from the sample what's going on. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you. Now you can just keep talking to it just like you would any data analyst. Just query the data you have right here. Now how many businesses are based out of Oklahoma? And how many in Oklahoma are CFOs? So again, we see that code running and then we know, okay, this is actual code. It's not making stuff up. It's gonna go through and make all this. It's gonna run account businesses based out of Oklahoma. And it found Oklahoma businesses based on whatever. There are 12 businesses and among these, two have CFOs. Can you list them here, please? So just keep talking to your data analyst right here. You can make a chart. I wanna, I'm gonna see what we can do here. Okay, it's just giving like some examples here. Oh, there are two businesses. Oh, 12 businesses and two have CFOs. These are the two at the CFOs right there. Bam, bam, perfect. Can you create a line graph showing the number of businesses by state? I've not done this before. I think you can do this, but I'm kind of curious what it'll do. But really, you should look at ChatGPT as your data analyst. This is someone that can handle this, go through this crap, get it for you, and just process this data so much quicker than just writing scripts for it. And it can just, it's so smart. It just automatically, you saw earlier how it just fixed that problem when it said business name. It just took care of it, no problem. All right, it's almost done. Check this, analyzing, there we go. Plot, oh yeah, it's plotting right here. Mm -hmm. Building the font cache, this might take a moment. Here we go. Okay, this is funny. Why work on resolving this if there's anything else you need help with? Okay, so you can clearly see how you can use this data analyst to go through ChatGPT to really be your data analyst. You can ask it questions, give it the CSV, it'll process the data, output it in formats you want. Apparently graphs aren't quite working yet, so maybe not that yet, but this is how I use ChatGPT all the time. Incredibly helpful. Probably one of my best, the best uses of ChatGPT in my opinion. Thanks. Hope this has been helpful.